today I'm reviewing the Rafa Crit Pro Team jersey. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. I just received a copy of the Rafa Crit Pro Team jersey. They actually call it Pro Team Crit Jersey. Crit, as you all know, for Criterium. Uh, it's a limited edition jersey. And um, what caught my eye was the colorways, besides the fact that it's got a lot of technical pieces in the fabric, it just was a unique color that I don't own, and I felt like it would complement my collection. They call it oil slick, and this is what it looks like. And I'm sure it may not be something for everyone, but this they've got some special stuff going on with this jersey that I'm... I'm itching to experience. Let me bring it close to the camera. It's got the same cut as the other flyweight jersey that I uh, reviewed earlier, the, the, the white flyweight jersey. But what is different about it is the front is not see-through like the other one. They're using a standard elastane polyester. But look at the design. That's why they call it oil flick. This is very reflective, the armband as I'm here in the studio here doing this video, as the lights hit it, it's very reflective and the color is changing. When the light hits it from different direction, the color looks different. Then the back, they've got all the, they're, they're like little, almost, I wouldn't call them pebbles, but they're, and you run your hand on it, it's not quite like sandpaper, but all those little dots, you actually feel them. I don't know what, they actually do for the jersey, but man, it's different. And it's on the arm as well. You can literally feel them. They're like small little, little tiny marbles in there. All the way down the side here. It's not in the, the entire jersey, on both sides. And I'm sure there's a good reason why it's there. They didn't really say on their technical smeal about the jersey. On the edge here, they've got a little flat that is unique in here. This is for you to put a race number. So I don't know if this is gonna show very well. That's a see-through, almost like a screen. Let me do it this way. So basically, what you see behind there, this fabric is a screen. And you can put race numbers in there if you're competing, and you don't have to put pins in your jersey anymore. That's one of their advertisement on their website. When, they're t when you go in and research the jersey. They've got it on this side as well, like an outer screen for putting race numbers. So you, if you have two race numbers, one will go here, one will go on the other side. The cool thing is when you don't have anything in there, the reflector can be seen through the screen. The convicts of the road stripes that Rafa uses. It's kind of hard to see here. Let me see if you can see it this way. It's really th those stripes, they're reflective as well. So they've got three solid pockets, middle's very handy. Let me see if there's anything in there. They've got some kind of a rubberized reinforcement inside the middle pocket. I'm not sure what that is for. This is where I usually put my patch kit. I'm sure they have a good reason for it. Let's see, there's some wording on it. What does it say on there? Hard to really see. They've got wording on there. It says uh, it ends up pitch black and you're working from memory. That's what's on here. It ends up pitch black and you're working from memory, whatever that means. They never cease to amaze me. They don't have a security pocket, like a zippered pocket on the side on this jersey. It's just three solid pockets. I'm trying to see what's under here. The fabric is different on the inside. Of course, all the pockets are reinforced. You see those circular extra fabric in the, in the in what I call multiple stitching. I don't know how many, but they're solid. Um, it's got the regular, whether well, you can put your race number. It's on all their pro team jerseys. That's basically the label, the care label. That's what they've been doing lately. But this is nice. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure it's, it's for aerodynamics and so forth. But it's very, very raised. All those pebbles, you can feel it feel really good against the skin. 
So let me go ahead and put the jersey on. I wanted to go through that. Of course, as usual, they have the band at the bottom to keep everything in place. I expect the fit to be no less than any other pro team jersey. Because the pro team has been very consistent. It's my favorite line with Rafa. Every now and then I'll try a classic that was on sale like the flyweight last year. Again, the arm is very long. You put the jersey on, it feels very cool to the skin. I don't wear my jerseys this time of year with any base layer. If I were to wear this in the fall or something, I'd probably try a base layer. But this time of year, there will be nothing underneath it. Feels very light. Since this is not as see-through as the white one, I'm going to be comparing it when I, take, when I take it out to see how it actually channels the air. But so far, the fit on my upper body feels the same as all the other pro team. Zipper is easy to use as usual. The neck is very comfortable. The neck is out of the way. This cut that they're doing on their necks. I mean, so in, in the fall or winter or early morning, you will have no trouble zipping it up like that. But look at this color. I love the color. I'm glad it turned out to be the way it looks on the website because sometimes you look at things online and they don't look the same. And as usual, they got that little tail. I love this about Rafa's jerseys. So what I would be carrying is my phone would be in, in this pocket. My food would be in this pocket my patch kit will go in the middle what I call my essentials kit multi-tool all that stuff and then my trusty mini pump hides away and look at that that's how the jersey looks fully loaded solid it's even more solid than the white one I did the review on because of this material. The cut here is the same that I talked about. They're doing something real special. I think they've got to be doing it on all their jerseys this year. That cut comes up like that, it tapers towards your body. When you bend, there's like nothing. There's nothing there. I love that. So when you're in the drops or on the tops, nothing's pinching down here. They're really refining stuff. And this arm, uh, the other jersey, like the other Pro Team Aero kit from a couple of years ago, where I showed, I, had, I did a video where I showed how to get it off and all of that, and you had to like pull the arm and all of that. This, these arms have been widened a bit because the other ones grabbed me more. Either the fabric is more flexible or they've just tweaked the arm and not made them for guys with pencil thin arms. So they fit better. There's a little bit, it's just a little looser and I, I actually like, it fits me like a glove, I, but I can feel the difference. And then taking the jersey off, it's not that big of a deal because the other ones you had to really almost like go through. This just comes off, look at that, like a regular jersey. Okay, the arrow, the other arrow stuff, I guess, I don't know if it was longer. I know it was closer to my elbow. It may have been longer. Maybe that's why. I know it was down here, the arrow. Very nice. Nice jersey. I'm going to zip it up so you can see it as I end the review. But uh, I just love how it feels down here. The elastic around the bottom is very tight. And you pull it, you pull it in, you put that in, and it just hugs you down here. This is a large which fits 39 to 42 or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure what numbers are running, but I've stayed with the same size. And it just, it fits me like second skin because I'm on the top end of this size of this range because I'm a 42. And so it just gets in, fits you. It's not restrictive. The arms are very comfortable. They've really done a good job. But these little things here feel great. You see me rubbing on it. Whatever they are, they're like little, let's see if the camera will pick it up. Right there. They're, they're like almost like dimples on a fish. You know, and a lot of times when they do that, it's for aerodynamic reasons. And it's all the way up here. It's in the spot where the wind hits. So it's got to be. Just beautiful jersey. So I will take this one out as well. Because I definitely like the way it fit and everything. And 
it feels really cool in here. I've got the fan running in the corner. I've been in here for a while today and I just wanted to share this with you guys. So this is the, uh, the, the Rafa Crit Pro Team jersey. It's a limited edition jersey, one color. They've got a Crit Flyweight jersey uh, that's, that's not a pro team. That's just a flyweight jersey, probably just a standard classic fit as well. But I went ahead and got this one. So the colors are different. I mean, if you go to the website, you look at the jersey, they have a place where they have a different lighting and the jersey looks like you, you would see on the negative of a film. So depending on how the light hits this jersey, the color changes. And I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. So check it out. And I hope this helps some of you who are riding in hot weather make a decision to get some of these jerseys because this is very, very nice and comfortable.